Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can create a database using RDS or Relational Database Service, a service provided by Amazon Web Services. So without any further ado, let's get started the session. First of all guys, let's see what is RDS. So Amazon Relational Database Service, or RDS, enables developers to create and manage relational databases in the cloud. As part of Amazon Web Services, this service can integrate with Amazon's NoSQL database engine, SimpleDB, which supports applications that need relational and non-relational databases. It also works with MySQL, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL for applications that already use these database tools. So basically, RDS provides you a feature through which you can create a database instance that will be hosted on the virtual private cloud. And then, in that RDS instance, we can create multiple databases as per our requirement. Here are some of the benefits and features of AWS RDS. First, independent scaling. Then, ease of implementation. Process automation. Security. Reliability and availability. Cost. Now let's see. What is VPC, or Virtual Private Cloud? A virtual private cloud, or VPC is an isolated private cloud environment, typically hosted and secured within another cloud, which is typically a public cloud. Companies use VPC environments to test and run applications, create and maintain databases, host and operate websites, and for other operations that typically use private clouds. So guys now let's create and connect Postgres SQL database with AWS RDS. So as you can see, this is my AWS management console. Now here, first we will create a security group that defines an inbound rule that will allow access from the internet. Then we can associate the security group to a database instance. So let's search for VPC. And here, let's click on create security group. Let's give it a name here. Description. Now here let's add an inbound rule. So in type, let's select PostgreSQL. And here in source, let's select anywhere IPv4. And then the same thing for IP version 6. Here outbound rule should be good. No need to change this in tags also. So click on create. Alright, there we go. We're able now to create a security group for our database instance. So let's go ahead now and create a PostgreSQL instance using the RDS service. So please go to RDS. Now click on Create Database. Here make sure you click on Standard Create Database, then the PostgreSQL. And here for the version, I will go with 13.4. If you go for latest one then you will not able to use the free tier template. So here let's select free tier. So here let's give it a name. Now here let's give a password. Here let's select burstable class and select T2 micro. Now here for storage, select general purpose and make sure you have disabled this auto scaling. And now in connectivity, enable public access. And then select our security group that we have created. And now in additional configuration, here let's give a name to initial database. And then disable this auto backup option, the encryption, and all this. Now click on create database. So this may take 5 to 10 minutes. So as you can see on the screen, it's created now. Now the next thing that we need to do is, we need to connect using the PG admin software to this instance. So let's click this. And here let's copy this endpoint or the address. And then let's open up the PG admin. I will provide the software link in the description. On my end, it's already installed, so let's see here. Here let's click on add new server. Enter the connection name. Then click on connection tab. And this is where we put in the endpoint address that we copied. Here, make sure the port is 5432. 
Enter the username and password that you created. Now click on save. All right, so we're able to connect now. And let's see if we're able to see the sample DB database here. It's successfully loaded. So yeah, congratulations. You're able now to create a PostgreSQL using the PG admin software. I hope you all guys understand the concept. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.